fill me in. But what's what's happened on social over the last couple of weeks? Well, I tell you what. As we've got the Brewdog sponsorship yeah. right here, <laughs> can we go into this? Because I, I just I, you about... I feel like it's a little bit tetchy. Well, no, go on. Yeah, go for are it. Are you go talking about the Ronaldo thing? I'm talking about the Brewdog thing. Oh, did you ever have a Brewdog? No. What happened? I don't actually remember what happened. <laughs> Great, get your news here first. What happened? Well, it came out that um, some of their employees were treated unfairly or there's some sort of oh. culture problems. And 60 staff, I think it was 60 staff, signed this big sheet. Some of them didn't, some of them did. And um, they put it on social. And um, James, whatever his name is, he does Brewdog, um, had to kind of come up with a big apology thing. But it caused a bit of uproar. Stocks literally went down. People Jeez. were like, just, yeah, vicious about it. I don't know, I haven't heard anything since from it. But, yeah. um, Suck them all, hire us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're talking about the Ronaldo thing. Yeah. Which was nuts as well. Yeah. The power that he has on social is, is ridiculous. What, what was who, the stat? who is selling stock? Oh, sorry. First of all, yeah. So Ronaldo, if you haven't seen it, he moved two bottles of Coke and the stock dropped by four billion. <laughs> which is ridiculous. With a B billion dropped by four billion pounds mm. first of all who is selling stock because ronaldo moved who's going oh no oh shit yeah. sell 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 yeah like, how much of an influence does he have it's nuts well yeah, i remember you came into the office and i was like no you're you're at it's four million mate yeah. you're four billion like, no, Fuck it's off. Not. It's not. four billion pounds mm. dollars i don't know what that was but mm. but it went straight back up again yeah i think the reason i wanted to touch on that was just because it shows how much one person how much power they can have just in economy in on social on trends mm. like that is nuts and it's this it's kind of opened up this whole discussion around should sports companies like uh, I don't know because who was that? Was that for Champions League? Oh, what was it for? That's uh, for the Euros. For your Euros, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Should those sort of companies, those events, sh- have sponsors that are technically unhealthy? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's a big. Well, that's what he said, but... didn't he? He said uh, drink water, and that's yeah. all. That's all he said. But did you see that? I don't know if he was a Russian or Ukrainian. I can't remember if he was a player or coach. He then goes up there and he brings the Coke bottle and the Heineken one in closer, and he's like, "Sponsor me!" <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's mad. I saw a um, I saw a girl push a bear off a wall. That was another one. I don't know if you saw that. If you if you listening, you saw that. Then you sweet. did you see what? it? Oh, the woman and the, she's attacking the, the dog. Yeah, saw yeah, that happen. That was crazy. That was that good. Was, oh, if you haven't seen that, honestly, mm. go check that I out. I saw it on the news, and I was like, Nah, no, no way. Yeah, she actually pushed a freaking bear. That was nuts. Floyd Mayweather fight. Was it Floyd yes, Mayweather? Floyd Mayweather. Logan Paul. That was obviously a massive one as well. We had um, Logan Paul, obviously famous. Yeah. Uh, Do you know what? I really, really wanted him to win. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't. I was, I was the opposite. I thought, really, yeah, because you think like these boxers, professional athletes, have changed their entire life for this sport. Oh, exactly. And then you've got some YouTuber that was famous because of some awful Japan video. Yeah, boxing against the, you know these sort of class people. Like but it's, then, it's ridiculous. I, One of my mates a- is a boxer, and he was like, "I'm fucking outraged by it. I can't believe <laughs> that some scrawny little YouTuber is fighting Floyd Mayweather. I'm not." And I was like, "Well." But- that's the thing. Even Floyd Mayweather said, he said, show me a boxer with more followers than Logan Paul and I'll fight him. Yeah. But I think Floyd That's Mayweather got quite a lot of stick for it as well, though, because mm. he was sort of he like... he didn't knock him out. Well, he didn't knock him out, but it wasn't that. It was just that it was almost seen as like degrading to do it. To, it was like an insult yeah. to the sport. You know, at that sort of level, I mean, Floyd Mayweather, one of arguably, you know, the best boxers of all time to fight mm. a YouTuber, maybe because of ego, maybe because of clout. I don't know, but... Yeah. Uh, it's because he knew he was going to make loads of money from it. Floyd yeah. Money Mayweather, They made isn't a it? ton of cash from that But well. yeah, I really wanted Logan to win just because, just purely for what you just said, just for that upset. Imagine... Yeah. The world's like he's the best in his weight division ever, mm. arguably. If he then just gets knocked out by nuts, some right? YouTuber who's yeah. been training for mm. a year, mm. that would have been amazing. Funny. I was gonna put a bet on it. I was in Manchester. At the I time. completely forgot. Yeah, I was gonna put. I was gonna put about Grand down on this fight. And I'm no, so what? glad. I, yeah, I, was go was, tenor, I, was, mate. I wasn't that confident. No, I was gonna go was for you, a Grand. Who, on who? Logan. Oh, I was really? gonna go for a gr- Grand on Logan. That yeah, would have been mad. I didn't want him to win, but he, I mean, this guy is absolutely fucking huge. He's, yeah. He's massive. And his brother's big as well. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Jake. Yeah. Absolutely massive. Yeah, I was going to put I was gonna put a rack down on Logan. That and I'm so glad I didn't. I, so, I was drunk at the time the night before I went oh. out to Manchester. And I because a, there was no drinks. judges and there was no winner. Yeah, there wasn't. I was yeah. fuming about that. KSI and Deji got back together. 
as friends. I don't know if you've yeah. been watching their stuff. If, I'm I'd sure s- if you're listening on the podcast, maybe you have no idea what I've just said. KSI is a, a, a massive YouTuber in the UK, probably one of the biggest. He's probably, yeah. Deji's yeah. his brother. They've had like a bit of a family feud and they kind of regrouped, hugged it out, got back together. What I, what I loved about that though was they got back together because KSI had slagged him off. Yeah, I saw the video. Yeah, and he so was about like, 20, 30 minutes, just completely real, authentic yeah. he himself. You were saying to him, I, I'm the only person that can tell you this because I'm your brother. But it looked like he quite it's nuts. Like, liked that. Mm. I was like, oh, fair I'm fair. glad they got back together though because it's mm. um, just drama, isn't it? But then I, I remember going back, like he, this has been going on for years though, really. Like KSI was outcast by his family or whatever, whatever story that Christmas. is. But yeah, bro, yeah, I remember, <laughs> I remember that one. I remember that one. But it's nice to see him back together, brothers on YouTube. It's mm-hmm. sort of maybe the only sort of brotherly duo that are all quite big as well because Deji's got mm. five, six million no, subs. He's 10. He's plus Did he? 10. He did it. He smashed he's plus it. 10. Yeah, yeah, my I guy. Checked him the other day. Yeah, you chat with him. <laughs> no, I didn't oh, chat, with him. chat with him. I checked oh, like, on him. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, me and Deji go back. Safe. No.